I want to take this moment and thank all the women who brave the storms, who leave their homes, whether it's cold or sunny, to make sure that they provide for their families. You find these women in the taxi ranks, you find others operating in their garages, others in their shacks selling quarters, and you find those that are occupying boardrooms, same applies to those who are clear that they're going to challenge our women's world, where the men dominate the economic space. You find them in the mining sector, in the construction sector, in the retail, you find them in the health sector, and everywhere people exist. And these are the women that we are celebrating as the country, not only as government, because it is through their dedication, their sacrifices, that they never give up, but most importantly, it is through this work that they do that they get other women to be able to tell the stories. These are stories that we want to inspire other women. Yes, there are lots of challenges that are faced by our women. Those that are hustling will tell you of the red tapes. They will tell you about the impossibilities of them accessing certain industries. And as government, we have committed ourselves to keep on engaging all the critical stakeholders in the ecosystem of hustlers. We meet with CEOs of big corporates, we meet with legislative people, all in the name of ensuring that we really deal with the red tapes in order for women to thrive in business. Of course, this is not enough, because women in majority, women take care of everyone, including the men that can afford. But we are saying it's a start. Let's all join our hands to make sure that we really turn things around. It is only women that can be able to create many jobs. It is only women that can be able to contribute towards economic growth. And this is why we urge all the big corporates, all the men that are occupying big positions to create a conducive environment. Unbundle your value and supply chain processes in order to give access to women-owned businesses. Zimbabwe, we can do it. You've been doing it. Government has been there at times, at times, government was not there, but you keep on keeping on. And this is the spirit that must inspire all of us as women, those that are aspirant business people and those that are struggling business people already. Just hang in there, slowly but surely. Our services government with the private sector will be coming on board, but most importantly, we call upon all those that are in our society to make sure that they buy from businesses that are owned by women. Have confidence in the women around you. You know it. They rule the world. And now, let's borrow from Charlotte McGregor's words. This work is not for yourselves. Kill that spirit of self. And if you rise, make sure you lift others with you. Malibongwe!